Okay, today we are talking all about my travel bag, my tech and gear, plus essentials, everything in my carry-on setup when I fly. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Desmond. I make content for creators that want to take better photos and shoot better videos. And honestly, it's been a while since I've made a video. And again, it's because I've just been pretty busy. The world is opening back up. I'm traveling a ton for personal and for work. So that actually leads me to the perfect topic today. What is my 2022 travel pack look like? And we're gonna run through the gear that I bring, the essentials, and how I fit everything into a carry-on only setup. So let's get into it. All right, so one of the biggest things for me when I travel is keeping everything relatively light, which is why I like to go carry-on only. So let's start by talking about my carry-on backpack. This here is the Tumi Alpha Bravo. I picked this up probably four or five years ago. And again, you can see here, like it's a little bit beat. It's got uh, some scratches and smudges. And again, it's because I bring this with me everywhere. One thing I really like about this backpack is the size. It is not too big. It is great to wear around the office, around a city, especially through an airport and to have under your seat for international or domestic travel. The other thing that's great about this particular bag is all of the different compartments. So you can see here, lots of different zippers and pockets. It helps me stay organized. I pack everything specifically into areas of this bag where I know when I'm in the airport, if I have to grab hand lotion or hand sanitizer, it's this pocket. When I have to get a passport or if I get a wallet, it's this pocket. So for me, this bag is great at all of the internal organization. And another thing that's great about this backpack, and I'll show you here, give you a bit of a close up, is the design aesthetic. Honestly, backpacks, it's tough to have a backpack that looks great and is functional, especially when you spend a lot of time in offices where it's business casual or I'm going into a customer meeting or into a conference room or getting up on stage at a big conference. Moving between an airport and like a conference hall, I want my backpack to look good so it doesn't look like I'm a tourist stumbling around with a giant like Provoke 21 liter or I'm walking around with just kind of this ugly backpack in a pretty business casual setting. That's really one of the reasons why I love this bag as well. And Tumi makes great quality goods. Okay, let's start digging into the backpack. Here's all the stuff that I carry. We're gonna start with the main compartment. So that's the best thing. This main compartment opens up pretty wide to hold a number of things. And what you're gonna notice here is I actually carry bags inside of this bag. And one of the reasons I actually do that is because it's great for just keeping things together. And also when I get to the hotel, when I get to my home base, I can actually just take out these bags and use them for different day trips or adventures around the new city that I'm traveling in. Okay, so let's just start with my little tech pouch here. This is nothing crazy, nothing like wildly functional. This is just a leather uh, gear bag I got from coach a little while back. I just like the quality. I love the design and it's held up for years But it's just one big opening and this is where I stuff all the things that I need in my bag So you're just gonna find a bunch of cables in here. You're gonna find chargers for my phone and my watch uh, you're gonna find I carry a magic mouse for me when I get to the airport or when I get to the hotel I hate working on the trackpad of my MacBook, especially if I'm doing hours worth of work. The other thing that always comes with me is a pair of AirPod 3s. These are great, again, for conference calls when I'm roaming around the airport, when I'm roaming around the hotel, when I just need to get work done and I need a lightweight option. Uh, another thing you'll find in here is my two terabyte solid state drive. This is an NVM drive that I built myself. I just ordered the SSD card. I bought this casing, installed it, and this thing is incredibly fast. I use it for all of my mobile editing. So exporting files onto this, and then I do all of my editing off of this tiny little uh, hard drive. I'm just a huge fan of how like small this is. And one other thing that I love is I ordered one of these tiny super short low profile USB-C to USB-C cables to support Thunderbolt, which is why uh, this setup is incredibly fast, but it keeps it close to the laptop. No extra wires or things to dangle around when I'm editing on a plane or in a lobby. We've got some charging bricks. I actually really, really like this one. This is the Nomad charging brick. Uh, it's incredibly tiny, it's USB-C, and it's a 30 watt 
uh, little brick. And it's great for charging all of my devices. The other thing that I have in here is a presentation clicker. Like I said, I get off the plane, I go to conferences, I do a lot of speaking on stage and I'm delivering talks all over the country. So having a presentation clicker is really nice. Isn't the best, this is some Logitech one, but gets the job done. All right, and that's it for everything in this bag. Like I said, just a bunch of cables, a bunch of chargers, things that I need. Uh, quick access to from my backpack. So the other bag I pack in this bag is actually one of my favorites. All right, check that out. Okay, let me give you a better look. So right here is the Tumi sling bag. I really, really like this thing. Obviously you can see it is tiny. It is designed to be a day pack, something small that carries my gear and my essentials when I'm roaming the city. I love the design uh, because one, it matches my Tumi Alpha Bravo backpack that I carry. Same materials, you've got the still reinforced like little leather padding at the bottom. But what I love about this particular bag is the size because it is actually perfect for carrying my Leica Q2. So you can see here, we've got my Leica Q2. This is my everyday carry camera now. I love it for travel, walking through an airport, walking through a new city. It's small, it's inconspicuous, beautiful picture quality. And the best thing about that paired with this is I carry my Leica in here as basically a camera bag, and then I can stuff it into my backpack. It's added protection, keeps my Leica safe, but it's also added organization. So I'll put my Leica in here, some sunglass cases, an extra wallet, whatever it is. And then when I get to the hotel, I can pull this out, throw this on and just hit the city without lugging a heavy backpack around with unnecessary gear. So I'm gonna put the Leica down and I just walk through a couple things about this particular backpack. Uh, big singular opening, which is great. It fits the Leica Q2 perfectly. We've got some additional zipper pockets in here. And then we have a front pocket, which I actually use for my sunglass case. Um, sunglasses are here. These are just my Cartier sunglasses I love and I keep them in a like cheap, sturdy Ray-Ban case. And that goes right into the front pocket of this bag. So when I'm out and about on the city, I've got my camera, I've got my sunglasses, and then I've got my phone and my wallet. And that's really it. That's kind of all I want to roam a new city with. Okay, so that's generally the bag setup for my backpack carry. Let's talk about the gear itself, right? So you saw this a little bit earlier. This is my Leica Q2. This is the main camera that I carry specifically for photography around a new city. It is incredibly light. I'm just using the classic like Leica strap. I'll throw it over my neck when I'm walking around being a, a tourist taking photos. Or again, if I'm walking through the city, I will just toss this back into my sling bag, throw it over my back and then roam around from there. But if you don't know anything about this camera, the Leica Q2 is a 47 megapixel full frame sensor camera by Leica. It houses a 28 millimeter 1.7 lens, which is beautiful. The amount of bokeh background separation and just the sharpness in the picture quality is incredible. The size, form factor and functionality is perfect for travel photography, street photography. It's light, it's convenient. Uh, I really love this thing. I have a full review up. You can watch that on my channel if you'd like to. All right, and another camera that I always carry around, this sits in the side pocket of my backpack. This is the Sony ZV-1, just another little classic, tiny handheld camera. This is really great to use. It's pretty small sensor, so you, obviously you don't get the same picture quality as my Leica or any of my full frame cameras. But what's great about this is the flip screen, the 24 to 70 equivalent lens, and the best thing is it comes with a lot of the high end and more modern Sony features like eye autofocus, all of those things that I want in a video camera, in a vlogging camera. So I always keep something like this around in my bag if I want to vlog or if there's something I want to document. Um, and I will pair that with this right here. This is the Pixie, the Manfrotto Pixie. And I've got one of the PGY tech quick release plates on it so that I can just snap my camera right into it. And this also works with the plates that are on my larger cameras like the FX3, the A7R4. So I just keep this in my backpack. It's really nice to have a tripod available. And if I wanted to throw my Leica on it, I can just unscrew this and use a quarter 20 mount. 
All right, let's take a break from the tech. Let's talk about some other essential gear. So I don't know if you're anything like me, but I always have like a go-to outfit or things that I wear when I fly. The most comfortable possible things that are versatile, uh, that'll get me from point A to point B and still be useful when I get to my destination. So for me, uh, I always rock all black. Biggest items for me, and you'll probably see these a lot, are first, these are my Cuts Hyperloop sweatpants. I love these things. Best thing about these sweatpants is the material. They are thick, they're comfortable, they're stretchy, and they hold their shape. So you're not walking through an airport looking all saggy and busted. Uh, but I really, really love these sweatpants. Another thing that's great about these is no matter how often I've washed them, they retain this like level of black that I really like. A lot of my other black sweatpants tend to fade. So clutch, comfy on a plane, man. The other piece, it'll either be this or uh, the hoodie, but this is also a Cuts piece. This is my Cuts Hyperloop sweatshirt. I really love this thing. Uh, it's just comfy. Again, it's just like the Hyperloop sweatpants. Same, same shade of black, really soft, really comfortable. Again, holds its shape, doesn't overstretch itself. And then when you get to your destination, you've got a great black sweatshirt that you can rock anywhere. It looks good for almost any occasion. And then again, if you want to work out, I've got my Hyperloop sweatpants. Hat. You guys have seen this hat before. Hopefully you've seen this hat before, but this is by Alpaca. I love this hat because it is just black on black on black. No branding anywhere. Mag latch so that I can pop this off. I can hang this off my backpack when I'm walking through an airport, whatever. But I love this hat. It looks great. It's just all black. Perfect if you're roaming through a city and you want a little head coverage, it's raining, it's too sunny. Always have a hat, you know, important. All right, let me make some room for this. And I will tell you, one of the only things that I don't wear all black when I roam through an airport or when I travel is my sneakers. Uh, I'm very particular about the kind of sneakers I like to wear when I travel. Obviously, they have to be very comfortable. But for me, they also have to be like pretty vibrant. Uh, colorful sneakers. So right here, you'll see I've got these new Air Maxes. I just got these in maybe about a month ago, but I took them out uh, on a test flight. These things were so comfortable. And again, lots of compliments on these like beautiful shoes. But again, if you spot me in an airport, I'm probably rocking something super colorful like this in an all black cuts outfit. All right, let's keep moving. Lots of other stuff. So for the flight, these are really essential. These are my noise canceling Sony uh, headphones. I can't remember what these are called. I bought these so long ago. They're like the MX 100s or something like that. I'm sure there's a new version out at this point, but I really love these. I'll throw the description in the bio. They probably don't make these anymore. They make a newer version. But what I love about these is the noise canceling and the 21 hours of battery life. So for me, I get on the plane, I toss these on and that's kind of it. I'm usually in the plane for like six hours if I'm flying over to the East Coast. And knowing that I don't really have to charge these back and forth is really important for me. Sound quality is great and they're really comfortable. That's one of the big things for me. But when you're flying on a plane, man, noise canceling over the air headphones are clutch. All right, let's talk mobile devices. What do I got here? iPhone 13 Pro Max. This is my main phone. Uh, I've got a Nomad sport case on it and I use the MagSafe Apple wallet. Why I love this particular setup for traveling is because usually when I'm roaming through an airport, I've got my digital boarding pass or I've got one printed. But with the MagSafe wallet, I have my ID and I have my lounge access card in here. So everything else goes safely into my backpack. I'm roaming through the airport with just one thing in my pocket. It's my phone and my wallet. And when I get to uh, security, I can show my ID, I can throw everything in the bag, walk right through TSA pre-check and be done, get to the lounge, show them my card, toss everything back into my bag. And this little package is just really easy when you're roaming through an airport. Honestly, I hate walking through airports with just stuff in my pockets, forgetting I've got metal when I'm walking through the metal detector. So knowing it's just my phone and this wallet have everything I need to get through security and get onto the plane 
is perfect for me. Everything else goes in the backpack. Another thing I carry is a iPhone 12. This is a work-related phone. I carry two devices, I know, but helps me keep work and personal things separated if I wanna sign off, if I wanna travel, and just like roam and do touristy stuff, and I don't need to be online, I leave this at home, or I leave this at the hotel, and we are good to go. All right, couple small things, but important things. Uh, watches, timepieces, whatever you wanna call them. I always travel with two. This right here is my Omega Speedmaster. I am currently using a Hirsch leather and rubber strap, perfect for the summertime. It's just great, it's comfortable, it's durable, and I really like the way it looks. It's not too flashy, just nice black, great. Another watch that I always carry is the Apple Watch Series 7. I like to do my workouts, I like to go for runs, hit up the hotel gym when I'm traveling, so I always keep this with me. It's really helpful, it's a great fitness tracker, and again, if I'm roaming different parts of the city where I don't wanna rock my Omega, I've got my Apple Watch on, but either way, I've always got two options. This is just really helpful to have around. All right, and what is left? Uh, computing, so what do I carry? I usually bring my 14-inch MacBook Pro. This is the M1 Max. I love this MacBook, it is incredibly powerful. I can edit everything I need on this tiny little thing. Uh, it's so fast and it is incredibly convenient and just amazing to have around. So this usually goes with me everywhere. If not, I've got another work laptop for work specific things that I bring. So it's either one or the other. But another piece, I always travel with my iPad Pro. I really love this 12 inch iPad Pro. I've had this one for years. I'll probably upgrade uh, when this thing dies, but I use this for in-flight entertainment when I get to the hotel room and I wanna do FaceTime calls. When it comes to just convenience and content consumption, having this around is really, really great. I can sit in the lounge, I can hang out on the plane, read some books, watch some movies, uh, get a little bit of work done, do some simple email if I don't wanna whip out an entire laptop. And this is currently rocking the Nomad leather iPad Pro case, which has been really, really great. It just feels nice. Obviously this thing has taken a beating because I carry it everywhere and I use it every single day. Um, but that is the test of a high quality piece of gear. And one more tiny essential that I always have on me is a pen. So you can take a look here. This pen in particular, I don't know if it's anything special, but I love this thing. This is a Mont Blanc Star Walker. It is a refillable pen that can take both a fine liner, which is like a little Sharpie tip, or a rollerball, which is what I use now. But I travel with this everywhere. You never know when you need a pen. I'm always writing things down. Interesting story about this particular pen. I think I bought this when I got my first like real job offer out of college, and I still use it every single day to be productive, to take notes, to write down goals. But I bring this everywhere when I travel. You never know when you need a pen, and I've always got one on me. All right, hopefully that was helpful. I know it's a ton of gear, but it's amazing that all of that fits into the tiniest carry-on setup. If you like this, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. I will catch y'all in the next one.